prove that the diagonals of a rhombus are orthogonal. Also known as a diamond, maybe. Different from a kite, where it's not a parallelogram, but this is a rhombus. It's a, it's a parallelogram with four equal sides. Statement. Its diagonals intersect at a right angle. Prove that that's the case using vector methods. If this is x and this is y, the idea is to show that x dotted with y equals zero. Agreed. You're going to call this a, and the other one is b, and then this one will be x. So y would be a plus b. That's y. I agree. And x would be b minus a. Agreed. And I'm dotting them. Let me show off my curly brackets. So now multiplying this out, uh, it will actually end up being the difference of squares formula because it's b minus a times b plus a, right? So we'll end up with, in terms of dot products, b dot b minus a dot a. But b dot b, using our convention, is b squared. It's the length of the vector b squared minus a squared. And because by the statement of a problem we have a rhombus, a rhombus is a parallelogram whose sides are equal, the length of b equals the length of a, so this is zero. QED. We wanted to prove that x dotted with y, the product, the dot product of the vectors representing the diagonals is zero. Right? And there we proved it. We just wrote it out and got zero. Right? So you saw the challenge of translating it into the language of vectors, but once you did that, which ended right here, the rest was a completely routine matter. This is also works backwards. I could make the following statement. If a parallelogram has orthogonal diagonals, then it's necessarily a rhombus. Do you see that this, the algebra proves this as well? Well, if the diagonals are orthogonal, then this product is zero. And therefore, the length of B equals the length of A. All right, so it works both ways.